my uh, relationship, and I'm going to give my age here, my relationship with multi-choice goes back to open time. I don't know if you remember that, right? We used to sit for open time, and my fondest memory is when it was supposed to shut down, but they would tease you by letting it go for like an extra two minutes, and you're sitting there hoping somebody forgot. Do you know what I mean? And you kind of keep watching, and you Asa, and there it goes. And of course, uh, in 2003, got my first TV job for uh, Channel Law. In fact, I was uh, reporting directly to Ms. Yolisa. You remember that, ma'am? And uh, yeah, since then, it's been a very fruitful career. And now I uh, host and can produce one of the uh, biggest platforms on, uh, on multi-choice. So I'm very grateful to have been a part of the family. And I'm really certain that you are too. Friends, please allow me now to welcome multi-choice group executive chairman, Mr. MTS Patel, who's been with Moth Choice even longer since 1989. A big round of applause. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Uh, thanks, Prabhu. Welcome, everybody, on listing day. Uh, I was sitting next to Quiz there and said, Quiz, can you remember the exact date? And he said something around 1984 with the plans in 1994, 1985. Can you believe that, guys? 1985 was the launch. So, so, some of us weren't born then. <laughs> Today, 14 million subscribers, 50 countries. You are the biggest funder of sport on the continent. You are the biggest investor in local content on the continent. You are probably the biggest employer of any broadcaster on the continent. We change lives, we contribute to lives. We, in our value chain, there are 20,000 people who are employed. We make a difference to people's lives. We make a difference to, to the way people get away from the drudgery of life. We entertain them. We have our partners here from Nigeria, Adomi. We have our partners here from Tanzania. We have our partners from Namibia. We are an African country, a company. We are a truly African company. We have half our subscribers roughly from the rest of Africa, and we have half our subscribers in South Africa. We are a truly African company. Today is a very big milestone for us. Today, we row our own boat. But rowing your own boat comes with responsibility, guys. We don't have Naspers, our big brother. And we say thank you to our big brother, to Bob and Kurs and everybody from Naspers, who've been wonderful in supporting this company. In 2016, we had a massive commodity crisis in the rest of Africa business. And instead of closing shop or looking at a number of other op options, we presented to the, them a plan to say that we want to double down on our investment. And through this crisis, we want to use it as an opportunity. They backed us 100%. And in backing us, two and a half years later, we've grown 3 million subscribers on the continent. So guys, this is a great company. You make this company great. You ensure that we are the biggest supporter of local content on the continent. You are the biggest funder of sport. You change people's lives. You entertain people. So it's also an opportunity to say to you, thank you very much. To each and every one of you, thank you very much. It's also an opportunity to say to all those who are no longer working for multi-choice, but who were here from the beginning, and some of you are sitting here in the front, I'm not going to mention any names, and some of you are sitting down there, but we must acknowledge those people who came before us and who helped build this tree. We will ensure that those roots that you had put down we will not let you down. And that's a commitment that we are all making to those who are allowing us to row our own boat. But as I've said, rowing your own boat comes with big responsibility. 
And we will ensure that we carry this responsibility and we build this business and we add value to shareholders and we will ignore the share price because what we want to do is to grow our subscribers, is to great, give great customer service, is to ensure we build on local content, is to ensure that we run a lean and bean business, that we will deliver shareholder value. And in doing what we have to do, the share price will look after itself. That's only a distraction, guys, and Kelbo will tell you more about that. Okay, I've said enough. I just want to say thank you very much to all of you. And, but before I call on Chris Becker, who started this company, guys, he started this company in 1985. It was his vision, it was his dream. It was against all odds. They almost went under within a couple of years. It was only the second pay TV operator operation to launch outside of the United States. It predates Sky or Canal Plus or any other pay TV operator anywhere in the world. That's visionary stuff. So I call upon Kurs to come and say a few words and to acknowledge him and to say thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> but, <laughs> but before I allow Kurs to say something, there's <laughs> my thing. Guys, how do we say thank you to Kurs? <laughs> we scratched our heads for many months. And the only thing I can say to you is that we can't give Kurs something tangible. It means nothing to him. He's not a man of tangible things. Do you agree? But the one thing that sits in my memory and all of your memories, and I was discussing it with Karen and the guys yesterday, and you know the one thing when we built this building, the one thing that he was seriously passionate about was building Ulwazi. Do you know, all know what Ulwazi is? It's the Harvard room. <laughs> it's the place we all get into to huddle, to talk, to communicate, to learn, to listen to people coming to inspire us, to expand our thinking. Do you all agree, guys? Yes. That's where we also do our budget presentations. <laughs> <laughs> and that was Kurs's baby. And that is what Kurs is insisted on. And I asked Kurs just now, I said, Kurs, why did you fight so hard for this thing? He said, that's the best place to communicate. So guys, we can't give him anything tangible, but we can give him something that we believe is meaningful Ooh. and will be everlasting. And we've decided to turn Ulwazi into the Kurs Becker Auditorium. Oh. <laughs> you have to hold this up Thank you. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. <laughs>